That's right, live from the belly of the beast, live from the middle of Jacob's trouble. That's right. What I want to tell y'all, just stay focused out here. You know what's going on, baby. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You hear the beat in the background. Shout out to the homeboy, Timbo Slice, on the beats. You're killing it. You know what I'm saying? Bring back that vibe where the music was good. And basically what I want to get into, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us in, in 12, the last chapter of it, you know what I'm saying? You know King Solomon, the wisdom of Solomon, he tells you, you know? He tells you. Whether it's either hid or manifest, them I know. You know what I'm saying? The nature's a wild beast, all right? The beginning, the mist, and the end of time. I know it all. No, I know it all. What he told you was that the conclusion of the whole matter is. What's the conclusion of the whole matter? Fear God and keep his commandments. Right? This is the whole duty of a man. You know what I'm saying? But what these reptiles want to do, these evil, wicked people want to do, whatever they are. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you would like to call them. I know what they, exactly what they are. But we'll pinpoint this saying the wicked people. What they want to do is learn every single one of God's laws so they can go opposite of it. Go the total opposite of what God said to do. And not only do that, but teach men so. Guess what? You're going to become the least in the kingdom of heaven. And that means come judgment day, you're going to die. See me out here traveling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit of this nice sun out here, man. Keep me trapped in the damn trailer park for 10 years. Keep me trapped in a hotel. No, you're not. No, you're not, dog. This is the whole game. That's their greatest accomplishment was throwing me in a trailer park, a place they know I don't belong. You know what I'm saying? That was their greatest accomplishment. And now it just proves that they didn't have to do it and everything they do to me is overboard. You know what I'm saying? They don't got to do all the shit they do to me, but just because they can, that's what they do. Let me tell you something. Just because you can do it, don't mean that you should do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the corner of 273. This is where I'm got into my first accident right at this intersection right here. You know what I'm saying? They had a daggone girl. You know what I'm saying? I had my daggone homeboy Jose with me. Crazy ass white boy Jose. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker to rip a nigga outside the car, beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? Hop back in my car, say go. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Had him in the car. I didn't even drink at the time. I was on 18. Right here, right where I got my first accident. But she came across here. You know what I'm saying? And a red pickup truck hit me in my uh, purple Concord. You know what I'm saying? Hit me right on my driver's side. The window didn't even break. That going 30, 45 miles per hour hit me on my driver's side. Knocked the She hit me so hard that that daggone axle fell off the car. And it was a lady. Um, this is, and I didn't know it was gang stalking back then. Oh, I know now. So I just want to investigate the scene. The mall's right up there. I should go to the mall, walk to the daggone mall. I'm all the way back in. I didn't walk about two, two, three miles away from my hotel. But the lady from this apartment came out in the villas. She came out and said, don't move, don't move. Because this nigga got out the car and wanted to go jump out the car, hit his face on the dashboard. You know what I'm saying? But then he jumped out the car and wanted to go rip the girl out the car, her out the car and start beating her ass. I'm like, no, sit the, yo, chill, chill. <clears throat> How you know it was a setup? How I know now, because damn. Yeah, she even ended up doing was taking picture with her digital camera. This is back in like 06, 07. She took her digital camera, took pictures of it. My car had his, you know what I mean? Axle knocked off everything. She took pictures of it. Went in the house, made CDs and everything. Dude in the army. You know what I'm saying? Army dude on the motorcycle. They know what's going down. We don't know the day and hour is what the micro motorcycle means. You know what I'm saying? The cops didn't even see. And then what she also did was take the dag on. This nigga had a whole bottle of Captain Morgan in the back. I didn't even drink at that time. He had a whole bottle of Captain Morgan. I'm driving him wherever he want to go and shit. I'm up in Wilmington in the city to going back down to the boondocks, jumping him off. This is my life back in there. Oh, I help so many people. Where they at now? None of them. Not one friend. You know what I'm saying? You know how many niggas I had in my rap group? You know how many niggas rap with me? You know how many people I had around me, dog? Not one came to help a nigga out. Not one. All the struggle I've been, not one. They all with the damn business. And the cop shit, well, she ended up grabbing that bottle. You know what I'm saying? So the cops didn't see it. It's so much stuff. And that was, I was all graduation year. My first, I had got three cars total, dog. Drunk driver. You know what I'm saying? Right here, the girl ran a light. She didn't have insurance, but she had a license. Or she had insurance, but didn't have a license. You know what I'm saying? So I got, you know what I'm saying, a settlement for that. Yeah, so I ended up getting like, what, 15,000, but both of them had progressive. And, and the drunk driver, 65 miles around Route 40, 65 miles an hour, didn't put his brakes on, hit me in the rear, had the daggone uh, station wagon. Didn't even have my system hooked up in it yet. You know what I'm saying? Car total on the other side of the median. This crazy stuff. They tried to kill me so many times. Had Rob in the car, had the little white boy in the car with me at the time. His faggot ass, but you know, his parents put him in the car too. So they don't care about their own. They'll kill their own, just as long as they can make a point to me. They all watch it. They, they all paying attention to what he's saying. Oh God, I remember that. These damn lizards, man, they know what they did, huh? You know what I'm saying? They know what they did. Devils. Now it's time to get ready for slavery. They know more of this, man. Traumatic, and that's with the uh, trauma-based torture that it started off. You know what I'm saying? Trauma-based, because like I said, you see my arm. My mom broke my arm in three places when I was a child. You know what I'm saying? Broke that shit. Shit. So, 
about all the whack here. You know what I'm saying? But they did that to me at 15 months. You see what I'm saying? That's what they do to me, dawg. Trauma-based torture. This ain't easy. You know what it takes to be able to be able to make music like a pain? You want to be a, this good of a writer? Yeah, pain. You want some pain? Share it with me. Oh, brother, yeah, I know, man. 10 years now, but I've been rapping for 15 years because I've been rapping since I started writing sermons. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a youth pastor. I started writing sermons in a Christian church. I started up in a Christian church when I put up a song from the Christian church I did called Praise Him, Grace Him, Praise I put that out for y'all so y'all can see that was a Christian rapper. I first started off like that. You know what I'm saying? Being positive, but I was all run bunch around goons, a bunch of goons, ignorant ass felons, and all my niggas got felonies. All my only one they ain't been to jail. All my niggas, they all been fucked up. Still fucked up. My homeboy Georgie, you know what I'm saying? Was a thief. This nigga in jail till to the day. He been in jail since 2012. He came back out. Balls so hard when that song came out. You know what I'm saying? He got locked up at 18, went to jail. That nigga said, I get out 2020. I should have stopped terroristically threatening and stealing people. What you told me, but y'all ain't listening. Anybody that they knew would try to help me, they gonna make sure they get locked up. Anybody that looked out for Greg got locked up, dead, killed, Marquise. They killed all these niggas. The niggas that would back me up, Mike killed him. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, my connection from the hood, north side. You know what I'm saying? Killed him. They all reptiles, but at the same time, nigga, I know it. You know what I'm saying? I know it now. There's nobody around me that isn't that going, their blood isn't compromised. But it's what it is, man. And when they got to Delaware City, that's when they started to switch over to touchless torture. Look up these terms that I tell y'all, man. It's real. It's happening. The CIA, FBI, the Fusion Center. Look up what a Fusion Center is, dog. This is where it goes on. Any alphabet that they need. If I traveled out of the country, they would use the CIA. If I travel state to state, they'll use the FBI. That's what the Fusion Center sends up. You in a local town, local PD. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes to get your ass. Point is, no, nothing about my life is easy. Every day, sleeping, eating has all been compromised by anything. Police run by sleeping, eating, whatever you I do, they gotta control it. They gotta control it. You know what I'm saying? Taking shit, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, shit. There's the only thing basically I can do now in life. You know what I'm saying? Make these videos. That's it. That's all I really get. And they know it. And they got me locked down. They're happy about making me the boredest motherfucker. Just trying to bore me out of my mind. That's what the devil, that's what limbo is. That's what hell is. You know what I'm saying? Surrounded by demons talking shit the whole time. You want some of this? That's why I can't make friends. I don't want to call you on the phone, brother. No, no, you don't want to call me because they're going to start tracking your ass. You know what I'm saying? They're going to turn it up on your ass. You're going to see that you a target too. Let me give you a call on the phone. They're going to start what? You're going to see niggas following you, parking outside your house. You think I'm playing? That's what they do. I want to connect with a lot of people. I love you, my niggas. You know what I'm saying? I love you, brothers and sisters. I love you. It's not that I'm distant and don't just listen to my raps and nothing. Nah, don't, don't, don't talk to me. Like, nah, it ain't like that, nigga. But if you talk to me, that's the shit. They're going to start following y'all. They're going to track your ass now. I know it. That's what they do. Keep me in your prayers, man. You know what I'm saying? All those that are keeping the commandments. You, hear that? you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. Track. You know what I'm saying? All those that are keeping the commandments. Pray my servant of the Lord. Baha Shem, Mashiach, Yahushua. We almost out of here. All right? You see they send more troops over there going to uh, Middle East. They not stopping. It's going down right now. I promise y'all, okay? I love y'all. All right, Shalom. The beginning is there, Shalom. And in the Christian mall, just checking things out, man. It's been a while, man. The last time I've been out of the mall, man, it's been obviously a very long time. 2013, bought me a pair of J's. You know what I mean? It's the last time I've been to the mall, man. Like I said, it's been a very long time. I was able to step into a mall, man. It's like a whole new world, a whole new world out here. Different people and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Moving, operating around, right. And I'm not in the trailer park. <laughs> got that, uh, I got that fresh out of jail type swag on me right now. Yeah, take me to the mall, baby. <laughs> no, Tony got me a pair of pants. He got me a pair of pants, got some sweaters. You know what I mean? But what I'm noticing is what they want to keep y'all focused on is matters of no importance. Commerce, buy, consume, 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 la di da di da, consume. Okay? It's an illusion, man. It's all an illusion. Yeah, yeah, the last time I was here, because I was working for UPS as a uh, help. You know what I'm saying? The last time I was here, I was, uh, you know what I'm saying, one of the UPS handlers help. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's when I first got back from LA. You know what I mean? And they was using every tactic that they could of, uh, you know, instilling guilt, making me feel guilty about being alive and existing. It feels like they're still doing the same thing, but at this point, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I know it didn't matter then. You know what I'm saying? They just wasting their time. You know what I'm saying? That's right, and every single last person here, that's right, is breaking the law of God right now by consuming and buying on the seventh. That's right, which is a charge. That's right, condemnable by death. In the kingdom of God, there will be no buying and selling on the Sabbath. That's right. 
America. The same thing that they're doing to Iran, they do to me. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the food court, right? It's been, it's been a while, man. But, man, look at this place. Wow. Now the camera's on y'all now. All these pictures and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's been a while, man. I ain't been in the mall in a minute. It's beautiful. See all the people on the food court eating their food and stuff? Enjoying that happy little life while God's holy mountain gets tormented every day. That's right. The holy mountain of the Most High, Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, maker of heaven and earth. We getting tortured while they enjoying their creature comforts. Right? Yeah. Up there. Straight up. Oh. Kids up there. They're enjoying the holy mountain. Yeah, they're going to get the kids out of here. Right, we got to get the kids out of here before it gets too late. All right. Hey, you're famous now. You know what I'm saying? So, God, I'll just leave you to the Most High God. Sorry to see though. Yo, Delaware done came up since I've been locked away in this cage, cheesecake factories and all this, man. I've been there one time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. They came up, man. They, I'm telling you, man, they didn't have this stuff when I was coming up. When I was coming up, getting out of high school, they made sure we had nothing to do, absolutely at all. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? And I see what y'all did. Keep me trapped up. You know what I'm saying? But then build y'all stuff up. That's messed up, man. That's not right. But guess what? Enjoy it. Savor the flavor is what they used to say back in the old. Savor the flavor. The time has come. Esau is the end of the world. All right? Jacob is the beginning of it. The fall. All right. Enjoy your stuff. So, champagne. Now, nah, get some champagne now. Nah. For your girl. She gonna like that. All right. Mom nap. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you gotta live it up. You know what I'm saying? Get some champagne. Y'all drinking liquor all the time.